everyone! We are Subi and Seunghyun of Hanyang Global Alliance! Yay! And we are here to give you how to survive at Hanyang Dormitory Edition! Today we're gonna answer 5 most frequently asked questions in dormitory life. We're gonna start with basic things like transportation, ATM, and laundry. And we also cover some quality of life aspects like deliveries and recycles. So, without, without further ado, let's, let's go! To start off, transportation. We'll show you how to get to the dorm from the HYU station. There are two ways to get to the dorm. Through walking and through the bus. So this is our campus map and uh, we're in here and this is the route that we're taking! Yay! So, we are now at the bus stop. So, we have arrived at the dormitory, as you can see our bus station was right there and then we walk about a minute or so and then we are here, in front, right in front of the dormitory building. If you want to go back to the campus, you can use the bus station that is right over there. Now that we're here, is there any ATM near the dorm? Well, there's one right there inside the dorm. This old thing? Well, it used to be old. Now it's new and it's working perfectly fine. You can go to foreign languages, foreign language service, confirm, and you can choose whatever language that you want. We're gonna go with English. And then for a card, domestic card, withdraw, insert your card. We are going to start with. Other. Go. Go. Press the password. Receipt, yes or no. Get your card. Get 
your money. With this cash, we're gonna get the laundry car. So, you have English version. Get a new car. No, we need deposit. Charge it. Charge. Yeah. Charge it. Put the bill in the car and press the next button. Please enter the membership card into the charge component. Thank you. Laundry card. We can do the laundry in the laundry room in the dormitory. You have one on each floor of the dorm, so let's get to it. Here is the laundry room. These are laundry machines and we also have the dryers. You will need your own individual detergent and softener. Which will be put in here. You put your rifle mount. Then close it. You throw in your laundry. Close the door firmly. Tap the card, select your option, and run it. There we go. Now we got to the dorm, got a laundry going. What now? Well, while we wait for the laundry, why not deliver some food? You can use Pang Eats and Yogyo three different apps that you can use to deliver foods in Korea but today we're gonna use Coupon Eats because it has an English version Yay! Yay! So, we're gonna use a Coupon Eats today First, we tap the top to set the address The easiest way to set the address is to use Find My Location and it will automatically direct you to the dorm Set this uh, little human icon to the dorm entrance where you will pick up your food right there and save your location uh, details doesn't really matter because you have to pick up your food at the front of the gate anyways so confirm the location uh, ignore the additional infos and here you go your address is saved and now you have the list of nearby food that you can deliver now uh, let's go with good old Burger King for today right Get those uh, chicken nuggies, add to the cart, go to the cart, and select the payment method. Uh, you can use a bank account or credit card. I'm using a bank account here. Uh, add the payment method if you want to. Uh, if you want to use a credit card, you can select the add the payment method. And select the credit card part. Or you will have to take a picture of the credit card here through the cameras. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip that part. Um, with that done, confirm the delivery. And then it automatically pays right there on the banner. And here we go. Wait for orders. There we go. The store accepted your order. Right. And they're preparing the food as we speak. So after you finish your food, you need to recycle, right? Right, because it's a big thing in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a recycling bin on each and every floor so you can recycle accordingly. Um, anything with food, like uh, wet trash or leftover soups, uh, you can flush. You don't flush it down. You don't. You bring it to the first floor here and put it over there above the recycling and the 
janitors are gonna take care of everything for you. The recycling bin and every floor so you can recycle accordingly, but anything with food, like wet trash or leftover soups or leftover foods, you bring it to here on the first floor and leave it right next to the bin and the janitors are gonna take care of that for you. Um, the old recycling bin looks pretty much like this. Uh, this is for general trash, cans and bottles, and papers. Only white, clean papers. So hopefully we answered your questions regarding your life in a dormitory and thank you for enjoying our video. Please subscribe and like and put the bell button and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. See you Tanya.